DIYs. Let's just dive right into the video. Okay guys, so I am super excited for this video because I love DIYs. They're so much fun to do and um, these are like the most simplest DIYs on the planet, but they are the cutest DIYs ever. I worked so hard on them to make them really easy for you guys. They are beautiful. Like, I am obsessed with them. They are the cutest things ever. So let's just dive right in. Okay, guys, for the first DIY, I'm doing a Tumblr mug, which is just a really cool DIY because you kind of just get to put your own photo in it. You can do a quote. You can do basically anything like a really cool Instagram photo. Um, you can basically put anything in this. So let's just get into how you make it and what you'll be needing to make it and all that. What you'll be needing for the first DIY is you'll be needing some scissors, of course, and then you'll be needing a tumbler mug because, like, duh, and you'll be needing a photo of your choice. You can get it from Instagram, you can get it from Twitter, you can get it from Snapchat, I'm just, like, naming social medias, um, you can get it from the web, you can get it from the craft store, really anywhere. So, um, yeah, now let's get into the DIY portion. Okay guys, so now that you have your template and of course your photo from the internet and of course y'all scissors, you just put your template from the tumbler mug and just place it on there because like that's kind of like where I want mine in a way. Okay, I'm now going to hold it and um, just cut it. Okay guys, so now that you have everything cut out, uh, this is what it should look like. Okay guys, so I have now my old template and now my new beautiful Paris one! And then I have, of course, my scissors still, but now it's time to have the tumbler cup, which I took out this and it's just clear, like straight up clear. You just take it off and um, this is so simple, I'm not joking with you guys, you just slip it in. Voila. This is how cute it is, like how cute is this you guys? I'm obsessed. I think this is the cutest thing ever, and it's just so customizable. I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. So now, moving on to the second one. For the second DIY, you'll be needing paper straws. Most important thing, you cannot use plastic straws, you cannot use hard straws. You have to use paper straws. That is the key. And then you'll be needing, of course, some glue. I'm using E6000 glue. And you can also use a hot glue gun. And you'll be needing some scissors and some Sharpies because Sharpie is bomb. So now let's just get into the DIY portion. Okay guys, so now that we have our E6000 glue and of course our two straws, there's actually four in total, but just to make it a little more simple, we're just gonna start out with so two. Now we're just going to take our little straw and smush it at the end. You have your two that are like somewhat squished in a way, like not that much squished, but they're like a little. Um, and then we're just gonna take the E6000 glue and we're just gonna do a dab. You guys can also use hot glue gun. Um, you just want like a little like perfect little drop and um, there, like that's literally that easy. So now that's just basically what it's gonna look like. It's just gonna look like a V, like your two fingers. And um, we're just gonna let it dry for as long as your glue takes to dry. Mine takes, it says to take two minutes, but I always say like 10 minutes and then you can glue on the next piece. Okay guys, so now that your two straws have dried together into a V, you guys will be getting another straw and of course your E6000 glue again and a little stand to kind of prop it up. You guys will see what I'm doing. It's kind of like a little tripod in a way. So um, now we're just, just squish this little end again and then we're just gonna take our E6000 glue again, pop it to right here and then we're just gonna take the straw and pop it right there. Now it's on, very simple, but this is where, where the magic happens. We're gonna just prop this right here. Just like that. So then you gotta resituate it though. So now that you just put your little stand there, it's gonna make it so much easier for your tripod to kind of like, so it like it really dries right. But yeah, so just wait another 10 minutes for your glue to dry. Okay guys, so now that you have your three straws dried together, now we're gonna take your last straw and your E6000 glue again, and of course a Sharpie, little surprise guest. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna first just mark the Sharpie where you want it. So let's say we want it here. Then you're just gonna like take your little Sharpie, you're just gonna mark it so then you know exactly where to put it. And um, yeah, just like that. 
And then you're going to take your straw and make sure you like it like that. And that's how I like it. So um, then you're going to take your E6000 glue, of course, and prop it right on the little um, dots right there. Those like boom. And then another little boom. Boom. Just like that. Super simple. Okay, guys, so now that you put your straw on, now we're just going to let it dry for another 10 minutes, and then we're going to be doing the last finishing touches. Okay, guys, so now that your last stick is on, now we're just going to trim it to make sure everything is flawless and everything. So now we're going to introduce our no special guest, Scissors, and um, we're just going to chop it wherever you guys want. It really does not, like... Have it. You can like can leave it as is, but I like to trim it off just to make it like a little more added touch, just like that. Just so ta-da! Voila! It looks awesome. And now we're just going to take off this little glass block, and then we're just going to prop it up a little bit, and we're going to just trim off like this much to make sure it leans back and doesn't fall over. So now that you trimmed your little piece off, it's gonna stand up just beautifully. Okay guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. It is adorable, it is the cutest thing ever. So I really hope you guys enjoy this DIY. So now let's move on to the third one. What you'll be needing for the third DIY is clothespins, photos of course, and some string, some scissors and of course clay and um let's just get in to building it and making it gorgeous. It is the wall photo string which is super cool DIY. I am obsessed with it. So um you guys can pick any color of string that you guys like. I, you know, me. I like black and white and that's kind of like my theme of my room. So um we're just going to measure it out. I've already measured it out. I kind of want like a mini one. I think that'd be really cute. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to unwind my string. And this is how big it was. Like, this is just, like, the perfect mini one. So now we're just going to cut it. So then just trim it to your liking. Okay, guys, so now that we cut the string, now we're going to go get our clay to put it up on the wall. Okay, guys, so now that we have our little piece of clay, it kind of looks like an eraser, I'll have to say. We're just going to take it and split it into little pieces, just like this. So now that we split it into two little sections, now we're just going to roll them up into balls. Okay, guys, so now that we've rolled our little clay balls, now we're going to go get our photos from the internet and go print them out, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so now that I printed my photos off of the web, and you guys can do different themes of whatever you like, so um, now let's go get some clothespins. Okay guys, so now that we have our clothespins, you guys can get these at craft stores. You guys can really get these anywhere. You can get them in different colors. You guys can spray paint them and, or leave them natural. I got mine in black. These are just like what I like. I like black and white. So um, yeah, now we're just going to go put these on the wall. Okay guys, so now that we have our little piece of clay, we're just going to put it with a string and put it wherever you guys want. Voila! Now we're just going to put our clothespins and our pictures to decorate. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to clip it on and now I'm going to just do all the rest. So I already did all the photos in the clothespins, but there's these little clay chunks. You guys might like them. I just kind of like thought for a little spice up, I could put these really cute flowers on them. See, like, just like that, you guys. Okay, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the last but definitely not least DIY. Okay, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh my gosh, it is such a fun video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like it, then like it. Give it a humongous thumbs up. Let's get to, to 800 thumbs up. Can we do it? Can we do it? Mm -mm. Can we do it? I know you can do it, so give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below, like, what video I should do next, like, what's your favorite color, um, just talk about your day, I don't know, just put everything in the comments. I love reading the comments, and I, by the way, I read every single one of them, so, um, definitely leave it down below, and, um, make sure to subscribe, because, uh, come on, let's be a part of the Frilly Fam, hit the button, so, um, and also, follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all that jazz, the links will be down below, and same with my vlog channel, me and my family vlog a lot, so, I have it linked down below, and, um, I just really hope you guys enjoyed the video, have a spectacular day, hi huggies.